Let's go. Let's go. Oh. Uh, Yes, I can. Uh, and we're on record. All right, here we go. You're on, Molly. Okay. Uh, I, I sent out a, an email saying that the first topic on our agenda will always be like old business and process stuff. Uh, Louie had mentioned at the last meeting that we didn't want to lose track of items that we had flagged to go to MMA. So I went back and looked, and the only one that I could find, and I, I don't think it's all of them, but the one that I could find was we were looking for a, for a uh, definition of moral turpitude. I think more than that yeah. flag. Okay. Yeah, I have about five of them flagged here. Yeah, I have five as well. Okay. I don't have answers on those yet. Because that may be so now that your, I, I would feel weird if we if we call them like with one item every time we had a meeting. Yeah. But it might be more worthwhile if we have five of them to do it then, you know, and then build up another five and do that too. So and I've had every intention of gathering the okay. answers for this match. Yeah. Uh, I just haven't been able to. Yeah, because it's not it's not red alert, but it's important, you know. So, okay. And I also noticed that as I was going through the, a lot of the changes that I was making, from, and it came from our discussion, is like changing chairman to chair, mm -hmm. and uh, he she to to they and things like that. Yeah. And I'm starting to call it unnecessary genderification. That. That that's going to be my my personal attitude as I look towards stuff, so that we just eliminate as much of that as we can. You know, well, it's more important to use it to get fixed. <laughs> yeah, I think just just a general understanding that we're going to do that through yeah, the entirety yeah. of the document is and and my devices we don't have to discuss, discuss each one of us. Yeah, my lot my logic with it is that it's. Uh, it's just pretty much becoming antique language, you know, mm -hmm. in the same way we don't use thou and verily and things like that anymore. I mean, they're still good words, but they're limited use. Yeah, limited use. And, and I think the, uh, the awkward gentrification also is, you know, we need to, we need to reflect that, uh, that women have, uh, have, have assumed important roles and, and it doesn't matter if it's a man or a woman doing it. It's just, right. it's just the job. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I also noticed coming up, we're starting on page C10. On page C18 is where we start with the school board. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that we had talked about was inviting a member yeah, to come in and discuss that with us, whether it's a school board member or even or even an administrator, or, you know, both. or both. Mm -hmm. um, you have contacts over there, Pete. Oh, well, yes, yep, I have contacts there. I can make sure they get the because right. because even no matter what we get done today, if we want to. We can make the next meeting that you know we can start at that point. That way we yeah, don't have to skip over it. We can come back to start, to start and then we can go back to then we can go back to where we were. And that way, there's no weirdness about mm -hmm. you know bringing people in and not being ready for them or anything like that. We just make the time. So just make the time and do it. Well, while gives, we're here, so. It gives plenty of notes as well. Where are we right now? This is the March twenty eighth. March, March. So the next meeting will be April 11th. Yeah. Okay. Make sure that I write those out. And that's April 11th is when we would like to do the school. I, I'm second. putting it out there as a suggestion. I am. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. We're up to them. Yeah. Or we can skip yeah. over to it, whatever. Or, yeah. Yeah. And it won't be much of a skip to, to get to that, I don't believe. 
Then it's Steve also on this definition to the chair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Steve is all set. So I'll make sure that we um, and and explain that we're not carving anything in stone. We're just looking at things, and you know, yeah. I think an important item for that one would be to explain in advance the level of edits we are allowed to suggest in the document. Uh, you know, rather than suggesting substantial changes to the, to the document. But if they would like to discuss substantial changes, yeah. if they have right. if they have real yeah, if they got big ideas, then, then we can we can document those too. Oh, I would think we put down whatever here. The process to getting it accepted will determine. Sure. Yeah. Yep. If it's going to be considered or not. But because the, they're talking a whole new board to review everything we put down. Right. So it doesn't matter much what we put down, it's going to get reviewed by yeah. another group of people. Yeah. I mean, we even we, before it gets to the public. We we got to go in with the idea that maybe all of it and more, or maybe none of what we suggest. If it's gonna, yeah, that's right. Fine. You know, I mean, you well, just it's like any recommendation from any committee. Yeah. We yeah. turns out to be something totally different than what you submit sometimes. Yeah. Okay. All right. So what else, what other what other uh, old business process or old business have I forgotten? You got anything, Steve? He's all right. Sorry, it takes me a minute to unmute. <laughs> um, no, I, I'm perfectly fine moving forward. Okay. Okay, here's an Elizabeth's iPhone joining. I believe it's Beth. Probably. Yeah. Should have her name though. It does. Okay. Is that is that Miss Sue Lander? I see. It is. I don't know why I couldn't get in before. Oh. Welcome. Thank it's, you. It's, uh, we, were, we just reviewed old business and we're diving in at this point. Yeah. Uh, can you just reiterate where we are? We are at, on page C10, starting at chairman. And as I said last week, my, my first suggestion is change it from chairman to chair. Doesn't need to be for the whole document. Yeah, for the whole document for everywhere. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I'm with that. And everything else that I had, well, there was one. I mentioned the spelling of a word there that was wrong. Yeah. Mine says the chairman shall in the uh, fifth line down, the chairman shall reside at meetings yeah. and it should be preside. Right. And other than the preside. Pronouns were all set. Yep. Yeah. And I was and anyway. Again, yeah. my unnecessary gentrification. I went through and <laughs> marked all the he's and yeah. put they's. I have nothing on the next one. Yeah, on, on quorum. Mm. Yeah, I didn't either. On quorum notice. Yeah. 
and I had nothing. As a matter of fact, the rest of the on this page, the vacancies or uh, rules of procedures. Yep, I'm all set too. Yeah, and adoption of ordinances on the next page, it, it does need to be two public hearings. So this says seven days prior to the meeting. Yeah, maybe we should change that. Well, I'm thinking that as it stands now, we do the best we can to get it out. The day, the day of, or the day three before. Three days, two, three days before. Paper um, comes out on the Wednesday. Paper comes, the, the newspaper? Newspaper comes out on Thursday. Just to let you know, this is all state statute, so we do have to hold okay. public, uh, yeah, we have to hold two hearings and it has to be at least seven days. Uh, it'll say at the end, the provisions of article, oh gosh, is that nine? Oh, that's nine, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> the, uh, that's a good point, and if we do have something come up, we just need to know to plan in advance to put the whole packet out. Yeah, that's that's the Diana's very good at doing that, making sure that we have enough notice in the paper before anything gets on the agenda. So we haven't had any issues there. No, I'm good with that. Though. I think that's all laid out pretty well. Yeah, mentions the state statute, so we're covered there. Did we mention other media other than just newspaper? Um, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's worth it. I mean, maybe in a general term, we don't know what the powerhouse of social media or anything will adapt over the next few years and what's most commonly used to keep from having to adapt it. Well, rather than mention specific ones, how about the common media that's used currently. Right, right, like a more general statement. Yeah. You know, because if, if it says only newspapers, then newspapers won't be around here much longer. Yeah. But is that something that we can change where it's. Uh, you, you just reference the state statute? Let them figure out how to word it in this day and age? Well, that's, yeah, that's what I was. Kind of getting that there, Beth, um, because the, the state statute is referenced at the end of that. Uh, so if it's not referencing the state statute, I don't think we can make the difference in our charter with that, unless I don't understand that. Code. Oh, then we can have stricter rules than local ordinances. It's like states' rights have older. have different rights. I mean, are. from a from a practical point of view doing that and yes. putting it on social media is a smart thing to do. You know, I mean, that's just, yeah. But, but do you want to codify that you're going to do that? Uh, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to say like a specific social media like that. I would say something like um, uh, uh, media outlets currently in use, kind of supporting. Yeah, common. You know, with what you're currently using for media outlets right now. So, uh, having sort of a circulation in said town 
and by posting a notice in the public area as well as any regularly used media outlets. Yeah. Not anything like that. Yeah, but currently used by the town. Yeah. Because yeah, like Facebook is kind of posted in a public place. Yeah. You know, from a yeah, bulletin boards, whatever. Yeah. Do we want to take a stab at that actual Morning. writing and agree on it or that sentence? Uh, uh, not for the word in advance by posting in public media currently used by the town. Yeah, we can. We yeah, we can. I'm, but I, I, you know, the the point to made a couple times so that this is what the this is what the state statute says. I mean, from a practical point of view, we should be doing all those things. You know, but I mean, we just just should be doing that. But as far as what the what the ordinance what the uh, code says. Well, I mean, I don't know that the state statute says exactly what we get written here. It's very, very similar. Do is there a specific statute though, Steve? Because Article Nine, there's an Article Nine. I'm trying to find it in state code. You see what it says. And Article Nine, there's lots. Well, of Article them. Nine is is referring to the charter, our own charter. The state statute though dictates these adoptions of ordinances and public notice. So Article 9 in here is initiative and referendum. Okay, I thought so I said that was the state statute. I was like... Was no, those are two separate things, yeah. Okay. okay I just understood that as well. Um... We can take us. We can take a stab at modernizing it if anyone's inclined. But at the very least, we probably should flag it as as probably an important discussion point if if the council moves ahead with the idea of uh, of changing the charter. That might be something that they want to look at. But I think it's awkward if the statute says one thing, even if even if what we suggest is an improvement, the statute is, the statute is still what has to hold. I think. Uh, I think we could request our own charter. It's just like our own zoning ordinance could be stricter than state zoning. Okay, so I would suggest that. To finish the sentence that's there, posting a notice in public space as well as commonly used media outlets. I like that. I think that. Okay. I mean, it, you know, it, that's adaptable. Well, what I'm stating is you're responsible for getting it out there by the way you're getting information out there now. Mm -hmm. Versus, you know, newspaper. Like I say, you're going to wake up one morning, there won't be any newspapers. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, it, it has already happened. You know, after the Cotton Town closed, we won a while without yeah. the newspaper. For, for our yeah. community, there you go. So, in this town, the really, what it says, available, you know, distributed to us. And that's how we get it from Lincoln, then it gets up here. We commonly use the newspaper now, so that's that's not as if we're eliminating that. Right. It's getting more general. Okay. So by posting notice in a public place and say again what you had said, Pete. Yeah, as well as commonly used media outlets.
basically what you're doing in practice right now. Yeah. But if there's a something new comes, bigger, it's something, better, yeah. you know, anything. Like YouTube, you introduce YouTube to it, to us now. Yeah, true. You can even have a town hall now on YouTube. Yeah. You have a problem with that, Steve and, uh, and Beth? No problem here. I just found the state statute on it. So I'll be, uh, I'll email that out to everyone. Okay, thank you. There you go. We get a hit to slow this up. Can <laughs> Yep. Yep. On town town clerk as clerk of council, I did the he she. Would you, would like you, that? Would you do it? I just made it bad. There you go. <laughs> you could even just delete it. And shall keep a public uh, record. Right. And that would uh, be better. That yeah, be I better. do like that. A few words are better. Yeah, that would be better. You want to keep using shall or will? <laughs> well, if, we, if we put will next time charlie comes back we're going to have to change him anyway <laughs> <laughs> are, you date, are you dating him <laughs> yeah well i only do it when you're eating it because i know it cracks you up <laughs> it does huh? getting his hair stopped back in the 60s you notice <laughs> I'm not participating. <laughs> uh, Independent annual audit. Hey, speaking of which, we just got one. We just got it. That's correct. Do you, do you have plans to follow up with an annual report for the community? Um, yeah, I think they just finished that up. Really, the clerks? Yep. I haven't seen one in a while. Uh, I think it's two years coming up. Yeah. The, the next one will be. I will. Very well done. Nice. Um, Speaks of the direction the town's going. Yeah. And it, it's evidence that we do as we said. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Louis, you're the accountant here. When you read that, are you happy with what that says? I, I mean, it looks good to me, but. Yeah, I did check my next door. There's all my stat statue anyway. How many years you can keep stuff? Half the year. Yeah, that's good to me. It's been going on well, I'll tell you. Okay. The one thing I Notice over the many years, watch organizations. Uh, they have a tendency to not put out an RFP for a new auditor regularly. It should be every five years for a whole host of reasons. That doesn't happen much. There was an old um, um, Bundsman bill that did come along that required nonprofits to uh, start doing that. Make sure they put RFPs out regularly for uh, audits and what else was it? Maybe, maybe it should be done for legal counsel as well. <laughs> the 
Anybody else? It seems like this is practice in any way. We're sending into year two at this current monitor. So yeah. I know the one that rule, I think we have a few years before we have yeah. Yeah. the one I knew before we had to want to sure. run in. Well, me and rural remain and we have few choices. Yeah. <laughs> But there can be problems with uh, Being the same auditors and, and whatnot being too familiar with. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. They end up having some conflicts that they don't even realize. Yeah. yeah. Things that sneak up on you. Yeah. Do have anything ripped on? This page anyway. So we have the have enough rule. Yeah. <laughs> I think you're more concerned about the next section removal. <laughs> no, we, we manage that already. Yeah, getting one's easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not for this. <laughs> yeah. That was a challenge. Oh, uh, yeah, it was. Right here. I are we on two sixteen? Yes. I just have a question, and it, it's perhaps just my misunderstanding. It it says that um, uh, blah, 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 that nor shall any member of the town council act in this capacity. And then later on in, th in section 303, it talks about if the town manager is gone, that the council can appoint um, somebody to act in the capacity if the manager has not done so. Um, my question is, and I don't wanna wade into, into the deep tar pits, but my question is how do these things play in a situation where John was removed from office and Cody had to step in. And as a council member, he can't be the town manager, but Somebody had to sign the warrants, but, and I just, I don't know if we have a hole there or if that got covered some other place that I'm not aware of. Yeah. Well, I uh, certainly was fairly intimate with that whole experience as well. Um, the chair of the council also signs the warrants. Um, so it's not really outside the duty of the chair to do that anyway. Right. Um, I sign all personnel warrants along with the manager, being that we didn't have one at that time. Uh, it just became his responsibility to just sign it. Um, but I don't believe he did anything contrary to what the charter explicitly. No. And I'm not suggesting he did. I'm just I'm just. It just wasn't clear to me how that how that would play out if if Peter wins the lottery and goes to the Bahamas tomorrow without leaving a letter of designation, who's in charge? Town council. Yeah, town council, and we would just have to appoint an interim. Okay. And yep. Also, even in the absence of a town manager, um, you can have multiple signatures from councillors to pass warrants and payroll. Uh, yeah. Items like that. Say I went on a two week vacation, we process payroll weekly. If I wasn't reachable, it's not, it's not just the signing of the warrants, it's all the other things that you do that the council is specifically excluded from doing. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, we, we just wouldn't do those things until we have an interim, is all. Right. Yeah. Okay. The idea being what we did go through was that. It was handled as expeditiously as possible, and I think too expeditiously for the outcome. Oh, well, and, uh, and I'm not uh, complaining about what happened. I just want to make sure as we're talking about these things that we. No, uh, there, there were no, no big decisions were made that wasn't directed by the council during that time frame anyway. And uh, as soon as possible, we got the council member out of that seat. But, and he appreciated it. Oh my God, did he? He was the, <laughs> he was in a new date uh, date on it, you know. Mm. He was he was trying to struggle way too much. Yeah. 
did a, did a we're all in job. agreement there, right? Yeah. For that section. Yeah, that's fine. You're talking about 216? Yeah. Correct. Yeah. So councilman, just council, council or whatever. Yeah. yeah. But that, that's funny, Beth, that you would say that because that had actually crossed my mind too. And I was wondering if we needed a an amendment that covered a temporary yeah, as I mean, as I read it, if Peter's going on vacation, he can write a letter of delegation to Diana or, I mean, yeah, we, we could person a, ABC, we could not a councilman, but somebody else. But that person just slide into his position for temporary. Just brought Lauren in. And, right. But yeah. if he doesn't do that, then there's a gap until the council names an interim. Yeah, we could have done that. Yeah, we, we legally cannot appoint anyone on the council to those positions, That's even correct. temporarily, there would have to be correct. Uh, either a new member that we hire on, a new person we hire on, or an existing employee that we appoint. Right, or if I were to resign tomorrow, Louie could not apply for my job for at least one year. Exactly. Correct. I think is some of that. That's right? what that is. Yeah. Well, yeah. And that, I mean, all, all of that, in normal circumstances, I think is is good law. I think it makes sense. You know, keep you from from getting too buddy buddy with uh, oh, yeah. you know I loading up agree. a faction of people loading up the the town the way they want it. Yeah. And towns have done that, and they've had nothing but problems in the end. You know, but there are Green times when for a long time period when you have to do something and. It, even though it's only temporary, you want to be able to to get someone in who's who can right. still do business, you know. Well, and, and that right is in um, three hundred three section three hundred three. The town council can name any town officer to yeah. step in. Yeah. Yeah, and an officer is obviously not a counselor. Not a count. No, it's not a counselor. It's, it's right. Officers. Office. Never mind. I answered my own question. The rules <laughs> are all different. Yeah. All right. Cool. I had to go around the circle. Yeah. All right. Let's talk about how to get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> Beep you got. It. Um. I like the way it is right there. I mean, it worked the last time. I mean, you have authority, you know, to say. I don't like the way you get your haircut this month. We'll get ready. Yeah. I do have an, I do take issue with the first sentence where okay. it says uh, an definite term, uh, um, either a definite term or an indefinite term. What, what the, uh, should be not the first sentence of it, Maria. Yeah, the first sentence. It yeah, just that, doesn't read correctly. That's language. awkward language. Yes, it is. Yeah, improper grammar. Well, which is it? Are you are you hired on a contract for year yes. to year, or are you hired indefinitely? No, it's a period. It is a it's definite period. period. Yeah, it's a closed term. I'm currently on a two year contract. Okay, so that if that and should be a. Okay. This is just a, a general commentary. Um, it, it, this seems awfully specific to have in the charter. Most of it is okay, but to have the specific number of months, I mean, I think, Peter, you told me that your contract is different than this. It's more generous than this. Um, but it just seems awfully specific to have in, in code. If you could negotiate with somebody that you, you're going to give them $1.50 instead of three months pay, why wouldn't you? I think you're right about that. I think this should be very vague. And just yep. defer to the to the contract that we come up with the manager, and that should I mean, be that. 
my personal take is, is that the, the, the charter should be as sparse as possible. It should just refer to what's been contracted. Yeah. Exactly. I think I agree with that. Yeah, so that makes sense. <laughs> To contract. I mean, I agree with the, the hearings. I agree with the, 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 that it's for a specific time, but to get into how many, I mean, how many we're going to give them two months pay. Yeah. I, don't, I, I mean, if it's for, if it's for an egregious offense, I want to give them no pay. I think it's probably more, it's more uh, generous than that in this contract right now. I think he told me it was. Well, well, it's it's three. I mean, it's public information. It's, of it's, course, it is. it's three. Yeah. In the contract. Yeah, and that which is I'm fine. I'm also I mean, required to it, give a three months notice if I were to plan to vacate the position. I I I and I don't. Yeah. I'm not arguing that it should be two weeks or it should be six months. I'm argue, My my view is it shouldn't even be. It shouldn't be in. Yeah, it shouldn't be right. this level of specificity. Exactly. So if we said the council shall appoint the manager for a contracted term and may remove them for cause by a majority vote, and may remove them for cause by a majority vote of its members. According to that, you know, according to that contract. Yeah. But we, I wouldn't say for cause because we don't need cause. It's a not will position. We're in a not will state. I would. Yeah. I would. I would only keep the first sentence, delete everything else, and take out for cause. So that whole paragraph should be reduced only to the first sentence, in my view, and just take out for cause. <sighs> sure I don't know. Uh, I have to chew on that one because, I mean, the idea that there has to be 30 day notice and there has to be public hearing. a public hearing. Um, I think I'm, that's spelled out in the contract of the town manager and would continue to be, well, I think it's, it's, it, it naturally would continue. It's in the contract probably because it's here. Yeah, but I'm kind of, I'm not... I, the reason I suggest that is because obviously there may be a cause to remove a manager that is so egregious that we don't want to have that person in that position for another 30 days. That doesn't make any sense to me. I think we should only defer to the contracts that we've written. And this section is only about the removal. And the process of removal is not only just in our contracts, but legally as an at-will position in general, right? it only takes a majority of the council at any time. So my as feeling it, is we shouldn't, we shouldn't discriminate for cause and put a, a date on it even. My, my, I'm, I'm, I'm think I'm trying to think this through. What I'm trying to protect against, and I'm not saying this has happened or will ever happen, but is a somebody getting railroaded out of the position without anybody in the public having enough time to take a deep breath and go, wait a minute. Now, obviously, if Pete goes out and sh starts shooting up the town, our town manager is now in jail. So no, we yes, he's fired. Um, well, there's we also theft. You know, there's there's other things that may not right. be immediately criminal. Right. Well, that's but criminal. but to res to well, I mean to to immediately be in jail. Um, <clears throat> my my point though with that is the public would not be privy to the executive sessions that the council would have with the manager of any issues that they may have. So right. we do reviews, for example, that are all in executive session. That's not for the public. And all the other processes that we go through, if, if we have criticisms or whatever, you know, we do those things in executive session. So just to your point, to your point of having the public take a breath and be a part of this, they're not a part of any of those. Those are, those are personnel matters between the council and the, the manager. 
They're always handled on executive. Committee. I'm just trying to think this out loud. I'm not disagreeing with you. I mean, in private sector, I have fired people and taken their badge and walked into the door. End of conversation. I mean, it's it's not open for discussion. Um, and I'm not saying the town council shouldn't have that right. I'm just trying to figure out why they would have put in here a 30 day clause. I mean, why would they have put that in there in the first place? Well, probably with the same concern that you have, that they would not be railroaded out. Well, it was also a hundred years ago. It was a completely different world. Yeah. Well, but you know something? The, what she's talking about what happened a lot less than a hundred years ago because I was on the town council when I first elected, there was a group that was trying to get rid of the manager. Mm -hmm. And they were hoping when I came on that I was going to be one of the votes to do it. Right. Uh -huh. And I agreed to consider it. Yeah. They said, mm -hmm. we have a problem. We want to get rid of the manager. I said, I'm, 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 I got my eyes open. I, tell me what, you, what you're thinking. And I didn't see it. I didn't agree with that after I, Right. And, okay. and considered it and it wasn't. And Peter, but if they had had their choice, he would but, have been gone that, right then. But then again, that would not have been in, in light of this discussion, someone being railroaded out. It would have been by a legal vote of the majority of the council. You would have been one of those. So that was up to you as a elected official to make up your mind one way or the other. That's true. So That's the true. process was still working properly and really didn't need to be designated here. And, and, and it also speaks to the natural process of the balance of the council. Yeah. So you're going to have, if it's not a serious issue and there's time to potentially resolve it, you're ideally going to have, you know, even if there's one or two people or three people even that feel it's so egregious and, and I can't work with this manager, but the other ones just don't see it. Like you said, Wally, I mean, that's, that's why we have seven is so that there is that natural balance okay. and that we do go through those processes to where we wouldn't unfairly, you know, out of nowhere, just terminate someone. Yeah. Um, it would put us in a situation as a council and all seven members to then have to scramble and find someone to replace them with. So all those all those natural balances are already in place, I feel. Yes, right. they are, I, in, especially in light of HR having, uh, you know, having the responsibility to represent a manager as well. And that we follow state statutes regarding these kinds of uh, right. timing issues. So I, I, I agree that I think referring to just the majority removal and specified by the contract that's been you know agreed to is, is more than adequate in session in my opinion well all right what is this what does this actually mean for this paragraph though are you talking about getting rid of the 30 days? removal or I mean what do you, what are we saying here? My suggestion was just to only keep the first sentence, delete the rest, and take out for cause in the first sentence. The council shall appoint a manager for a period when they report by a majority vote of its members. Because the determined time that this refers to, or the definite time, is obviously referring to the contract that we have. We can put in, like Louis said, a little more language to refer to the contract for any other processes regarding the removal. But, you know, the defined term is the contract. It defines notice both ways. It defines everything. It does, it does give from both directions in the contract. I mean, I only have mine to go by, but oh, it was comparable to have been the same forever. That of many other towns. Boilerplate. By the sounds of it, you know, slight adaptations for the yeah. individual, but for the most part, it's and commonly and used contract. Okay. I oh, I have you. read your contract, Peter, but does it include the the provision for the town to suspend you? Uh, with pay while they look into what it is they think they don't like? 
which is what the end of the paragraph says? I don't remember specifically right now. Um, I haven't read it in a few months. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, I'm happy to verify that. Or you know. no, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just playing devil's advocate. Sure. Well, another part to my story. Uh, the manager may reply in writing and may request a public hearing, which shall be held not earlier than right. 20 days or, or whatever, etc. When this went on with me, the, the move was actually made to, to bring the manager into an executive session and try to get one more vote to get rid of them. And the manager, as defined by this by this segment, brought out a sheet saying he doesn't want it in an executive session. He wants a discussion held in public. No, we did it. And we did it in public, and it kind of wrecked the the cool thing that was not a cool, but you know what I mean. The, the, no, process, no. the no. process that was going on. No, with this last manager, he didn't. So anyway, that my question is why why is this there's got to be a reason this got put in there. And it's I mean it's from the 90s, so it's not that old. Well, that just means the the most recent time that that whole section was revisited it doesn't necessarily mean it was no, but it changed it, or edited, but they you, looked you're at you're it. right, it passed in the 90s, so I so, see where you're saying. So I the first sentence and the manager's uh, ability to request and public, which I think he would have anyway, but we can add, keep that and then, you know, referring to the contract for any other kind yeah. of issues. I'd be and fine I, with that. Yeah, that sounds good. Short, shortens it up. Quite a bit. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. um, does that need some sort of, of a, uh, because it says the council shall appoint the manager for a definite term and may remove, remove by may remove them by a majority vote of its members. Period. Yeah. The manager may reply in writing and may request a public hearing. Um, well, that's the, that's an issue though because I, I don't have an issue with that with that process, if the manager wants to have this discussed in public necessarily, I'm kind of on the fence with that. Um, I think personnel matters should stay personnel matters and not become public. Um, the, the, my, the point though- Well, hang on, I, I, would, I would like to finish my thought. Yep. Um, the, the 20 days though that it mentions here requires that we still give the 30 days notice. Um, so that's that's my issue with it. I don't like the 30 day notice. Right, depending on depending on the reason. Right? Is that what you're saying, Steve? I, I like if I Yeah, I mean I, I think it murder, should you wouldn't want me running the town for 30 more days. Well, yeah, yeah, and and I don't think you should be entitled to having a public uh, meeting about it either. Yeah. It's so. A criminal offense or, or, yeah. Know. Well, I don't think there'd be any request for public hearing on a criminal offense, but I, I think there's nothing in that second second sentence that states the manager has to remain in his office. The first sentence tells you you can do it right off. Second sentence says you may want to have this taken up at a public hearing, but no personnel issue details are gonna be revealed. It'll be pretty much like what we had to go through when we voted to end uh, the contract. You know, people spoke in defense of them. And, you know, there was public- Well, I, I, I don't know if I agree with that. I mean, a public hearing implies that that specific issue would be addressed. Yeah. Well, it's like pleading, and I, I don't... Pleading, like pleading the fifth. You can't, but uh, HR rules don't, you know, hit the laws and all that. You can't discuss these things. So that's just what they end up hearing in the public. Uh, other, other than people doing character uh, uh, 
assassination. Or or in support of. Oh, okay. With a person. Character yeah. referencing. See, I, I agree with you, Steve, that that personnel issues should be private, but that is the protection of the person yeah, they, they who has the it. issue, not not for the people who are not for the HR function or the council function. Well, let, let's say if he, uh, in, in the past case, if the manager had requested this public hearing. And, let's just speak hypothetically, Louie. All right, well, just hypothetically, if uh, a manager requested this meeting for whatever reason being let go, and he's the one that divulges the information about himself, then that's, that's opened it up. It's not like it's private anymore. Now it's public because he's opened up that can of worms. It's like what happens in court cases. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I think you, you the man, I think the man, away on your the prior manager rights. should have the right, as awkward as it can be, <laughs> yeah. to uh, publicly air as long to, as to publicly air. You know? I mean, I just don't agree point, with there's that. There's a billion reasons that get you to this point. If uh, if members of the council are, are uncomfortable with the direction that a manager's taken, that's one thing. If you've got a manager who is in here drunk by, by 10 o'clock in the morning and he's ugly and he's out screaming at the staff all day because, you know, pressure got to him and stuff. And it's like, geez, we got to do something. You know, I mean, that, then it's a here and now. Do it. Yeah. I yeah. thought I told you to speak hypothetically. Wait a second. I haven't had a drink in years. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> Same here. But no, no you know, you, you see what I'm saying? And like, if you've got a guy who is an alcoholic, he's probably not going to want to be discussing it in That's an right. open meeting. That's right. But if you've got a guy who, who feels wrong. like he's been working in good faith and, and doing the Doing what he was hired to do, and now suddenly it's not. You know, maybe maybe that person wants to discuss it publicly. You know, I I generally I understand what you're saying, Wally. It's just I think this job, uh, the job of man manager, implies that there are always going to be the possibility of opposition between that position and the council, turmoil and everything. I think anyone in today's world who takes that role is going to handle it professionally and let the council know that, you know, they're having issues and, and, you know, unless it can get resolved that they would like to leave, um, you know, or try and find a solution. I really don't see a situation in today's age where anything's going to, anyone would want that type of interaction to take place publicly. They will be completely unhirable. I, and, and I think it's a circus. I think it just in, invites a circus and I don't think it's a good thing. In True, except that this is exactly what I saw. I mean, in the past, I, I lose track of time. But and, I, and I haven't been off the council in twenty years, so it last one years. It's and and Steve, while I agree the two thousands, you know, that this actually happened and was actually a function that the manager chose to use and was happy to have. Yeah, I think I think the it's like second guess. Well, I think Beth wanted to say something. If you don't mind her jumping in, sure. No, that's okay. Thank you, Steve. This is. Um, as much as I would like to think that that were the case, and if it, in fact it is a case of moral perpetuity kind of situation, ba -da 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 -da, yeah, you're right, they probably won't. But I can, I can imagine a scenario where um, a town manager is dismissed for reasons that they believe are unfair and are not a result of their behavior, but as a result of their performance or perceive that it is a result of a bias on the part of um, the townspeople or the council or a group thereof. And I believe that the town manager has a right to defend their, their 
they have a right of appeal. Well, I agree with that. And I think that's why we have an appeals board. And I think that's what the courts are for. No, for the, count, I, for the no, council please, to hold that kind of hearing, I think is not the right venue. I, my view is that if the, count, the council should have the right to terminate the town manager, but the town manager should have a right to tell the public his side of the story before it is absolutely a final deal. That's my perspective. And I, I don't. Agree, I just I don't agree. I know you don't. Yeah. I mean, I think that's what the appeals board is for, and that's what the courts are for. Well, I don't think you want to end up in a in a situation where somebody, and I'm not saying it's going to happen, but a situation where somebody gets railroaded. You don't want the courts to be the the ones that that have to make the decision. I mean, that's just going to be drawn out and expensive and really divisive. There needs to be a way to have that discussion. Folks, I'm going to jump in. Um, I just want to remind everyone we're at the top of the hour. I do have another engagement here coming up soon. So we'll, we'll have to uh, start wrapping this up here in the next few minutes. Yeah. Thanks, and, I mean, Peter. I'd just like to include a final thought to that. Um, you know, talking about going to courts and stuff, I feel like if the council hosts a hearing like that, it invites even more of a possibility for a counselor or counselors to say something that can then be used against the town. It, right. it, it creates more of a liability in my view for the council to hold a public hearing on a person in that position being terminated. And I think it's more dangerous personally. To me, this is an area that if it is to be, I mean, it's held up so far. If it is to be reworked, it needs to be reworked by people that have IR and HR expertise, because I don't know, it's here, somebody put it here for a reason and I don't know what that reason is. Oh, no. So I'm just reluctant to take it out without understanding that we're not leaving ourselves in, in an exposed position. Okay. I'm not, I don't care one way or the other. I'm just trying to- If an employee wouldn't have this, chance to do it face to face with the council publicly nowadays you know what's going to happen out in the media that discussion is going to occur if the employee wants yeah. it to have it happen it's gonna happen anyway whether whether we give them a chance to do it in a structured public meeting or not that person is going to let it out Well, all right, let me, let me, uh, this discussion is not done, I don't think, but I, I understand the, the points that we're making. How about our next meeting is the 11th, and we're going to talk about uh, the school board. We're going to invite school board or yeah. school people to, uh, to come and discuss that with us. So that, that'll take that up. How about if we return to this, give it some thought, and uh, think about maybe how you would rewrite that or amend it. And, and again, uh, I, I'm kind of I'm kind of lined up with with Elizabeth. I see, I see Steve's gone. Mm -hmm. I, with Beth on this, uh, and mainly because I have uh, real hands-on experience with exactly with this. Mm -hmm. um, but we're, we're not writing the law, we're making suggestions. So we might even have a, a way to, uh, when we make the presentation, this was discussed heatedly. There were some people that felt this way, other people felt this way. You might wanna consider all this discussion to have a way to put that when we, uh, when we make a presentation with it. Because if we're having this conversation, everyone else is going to chances are. So I think that is great. Yeah, I think we, we can come up with some suggestions for it and then we can make a note in our final report on it. You know, like I said there are two opposing views for consideration. Okay, so April 25th, we will start with the uh, 
the move of the, of the town manager again. So anyone that has ideas of. Uh... Watch out, Peter. <laughs> I feel pretty good right now. <laughs> well, he just said on the 25th we're going to start with removal of the town manager oh yeah I'll start. well i'll start getting my my public uh meeting order <laughs> i'll start yeah i'll start getting my, my notes in order for my public hearing go throw it go throw all your snowballs now <laughs> all right very good pete's got a pete's got a meeting he's got to go to we're adjourned. Thank Hello. you, everybody. And uh, next meeting will be uh, April uh, April eleventh to talk about uh, school. school. And we got to get we got to get them a copy of what the charter says about it too. Just to right. Yep. You know. Make sure we do that. Have a good night, guys. Right. Thanks a lot. Thank you.